Ah, the casino. Actually, to be fair, with our luck, I think it's a good idea we avoid this place. I'm going to go back to where I came from. So it's safe to say our luck has not really been the best in this season, really. That last minute goal against PSG, if you did check it in the last episode, go watch my heart just break in a minute of seconds. And also the bad game against Lille. Not what we expected, but we still have a chance of catching up PSG. So let's see if we can maintain two months of good results and try and maintain on PSG's feet. So as you saw there, we did actually get a loss against Lille. And then we picked up a draw against PSG, but they did score in the 95th minute heartbreak. But we did bounce back as well with big results against Juventus, Marseille and also Bordeaux. But this kind of episode, we have got a couple of games, one against Lens, one against Monaco that are massive for us as well and a couple of Champions League games in there as well. So hopefully we can get through this and also the January transfer window opens excited times. So shall we try and crack on, see how we do and hopefully we can get into some wins? Well, I hope we can anyway. Let's get into the Lens game. Right then, and we face Lens. This is going to be a tough game for sure. They are fifth in the league. They're not doing too bad. We know they are good enough to beat us, but hopefully we can maintain this. We are still using this other tactic as well that we've been using, using that DM in that position there. As you can see, this is more like it. We have got a bit of a problem. Now, one thing I did with Matty Vitti is uh, I kind of went past and forgot to register him for the league. And didn't really want to tell you that, but could you just see that message there? Yeah. He will get registered in January. A big win is needed here from us. We aren't playing the best, I'm not going to lie. But we need to see ourselves pick up a win. I don't want any misplaced passes, bad pass or anything like that. I just want us just nice and comfortably gain a win here. As we move the ball, as Lani back from injury, finds Guess Andrew's going to strike the ball in. I don't know what's going on with the goalkeeper there, but we're going to take that. It's, it's a one-goal lead in the first 30 minutes. That's a great start for us. Come on. I don't know what happened. The goalkeeper just kind of... Just give up. I don't know where he thought it was going to be offside or something. He's nowhere near offside, but the goalkeeper just... Just doesn't bother. Well, there's going to be a highlight straight from kickoff, and that that that's never a good thing, I'm not going to lie. As Aslani picks up that loose ball, looking like he's back from injury with a bang here, fighting for that ball, trying to win it back. As uh, Ryan Cherky is going to bring the ball down, finds Josh Timon, finds Aslani, back to Josh Timon, breaks a space here. Can we find another pass? Someone look for it as Saw picks it up. Good ball movements. Great knock. Finding Costinia in the box there. Fans it across, and it's going to be... Gazan with another goal. Come on. I thought it was an own goal, if I'm honest, but we'll take that. Come on. Now, I don't really like scoring two goals quite too early because it normally ends in a Desmond. If you don't know what Desmond is, it's a 2-2, it's a and that's normally my bogey resort. I'm not going to lie there. As the ball gets whipped in, it's headed. It's if the ball, a little bit of a let off there. As Aslani, ooh, that, that, that was just a little bit poor from him there. As a, It looks like Lenz are going to have a bit of momentum there. A, a referee, there's no way you're giving a penalty for that. That's got to be outside the box, right? There's no way that's in the penalty spot. No way. It is not a penalty. Thank the Lord. We've got away with that one. It's going to be a on the edge of the box free kick. As we pick up that ball, Guzan is going to get that ball, finds it into the box. Can he pass it? He can. He finds Oi, as he's going to try and bounce past there. Just goes down. Oh, referee. I, I didn't think that was a penalty. I'm not going to lie. That, to me, was not a penalty. And I think he's going to give not a penalty. No penalty. There we go. I didn't think he was. It, it looked like a fair challenge that did. I think oh, he went down a little bit too easy there. Not that we like to do that, but still. Free kick comes in. Edit. And there is a goal from Wacky. Straight from a header from a free kick. That is going to be a goal because he's picked the ball up. So he's it's, it's going to count as a goal. And uh, the Desmond is now on. Scostini is going to pick it up. Finds Oi on this right hand side. Finds a good ball to Aslani who's going to find it. An even better ball to Ryan Kirk. Oh, what a bad touch from Kirky that is. That's unbelievable. Leave me bad. That's a bad clearance from the goalkeeper, though. So we're going to try and capitalise on that. As Costinia still has that ball. Watson strikes. He hits the bar. That was a, I thought he was just going to send that over the bar completely. But he hits the bar. It's a big chance for us. A free kick on the stroke of hot time. And Perry with a fantastic save there. Sending it over the bar. Ball gets whipped into the box there. Perry comes out. Punches it out. Referee, if you want, blow the whistle for... Oh, I thought we pinched the ball there. I thought we pinched the ball. I'm going to say they weren't good enough. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to change the tactic. And we're going to go to the 4 one 4 one and try and see this out a little bit more defensively. As Josh Diamond picks up that ball, finds a great ball into the center. I don't know if I like that first time uh, cross there. But Cherky is going to get very, very lucky with that ball. As Aslani's going to push it into the box. Strikes it. Aslani's at the ball. Oh, my days of woodwork has been cracked. 
plenty of times in this one. We do get a corner though. Josh Tam is going to whip it in. Big head is there as Aslani picks up that second ball. Can he get a ball across? He certainly can. How has he not scored? How has that gone through? How have they had time to take a touch? How is this happening? Now is landing into a counter attack as what he's pushing down the right hand side now using his pace and he's doing it quite well as well as he brings that ball down and they're still on it. it no one's even marking here. What's going on? Head is away. Watson clears it. Finds Oi who's going to hopefully now use his pace to dart pass. But that's a great challenge there and it's going to go not out for a throw in. They're going to maintain this possession here. What is going on? As the ball gets played over the top, finding Wahi yet to get no penalty, no penalty. Now blocking. Why did we stand off him? <laughs> the ball's going to get round round. Josh Timon. No way. No way. He's going to give that as well. He's 100% going to give that. No penalty. Oh, thank the Lord. VAR being on our side here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, he's not having the best game, so I am going to bring him off. And I'm going to bring Rasmussen on for it. As Watson brings that ball forward, finds a great pass to Aslani, who tries to find a great ball. Finding Rasmussen, who's going to push it to the box, going to cut back, finds Costinia, gets the ball back. We need a ball into it here, boys. Not on the edge. As Aslani gets that ball, finds a great ball. Ryan Watson! Oh, I don't know why I call him Ryan Watson. Josh Tyman with a free, with a corner here. He's going to whip that ball in place. It's short. Although I don't like that free, I don't like that corner. I really don't like that corner from us. We need to change that up. We are down to the last seconds of the game here. I dare, I dare waste. Oh no, this is just PSG written all over it, isn't it? As uh, Maxi is going to be over the ball, strikes it. Oh my god, Perry, he didn't save it. Don't mind, it was a goal kick. Must have hit the post or something. Right, last seconds of the game. Now I'm going to lower the tempo a little bit and then I'm going to frequently time waste here. Try and see this out. Please, 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 please. And there we go. We pick up a 2-1 victory over Lens. Get in there. A huge result for us. We had to kind of claw onto it. Two goals in two minutes there. I did a little panic me. But still, there's a lot of, like, penalty chances there that I didn't like. We take the win. Come on. We did a little bit of business in the transfer window. We have gone and got Ozcan. Now, he is going to be a midfielder. I feel like we needed someone in the centre midfielder just to help out with rotation and stuff like that. Using Kevin is good, but I don't think he's ready to be in that first team yet. Now, he is 30, is Ozcan, but I know that he can do it for us. He's got a great work rate, great position, teamwork, concentration, bravery, anticipation, everything mentally is perfect there for him. So hopefully, this could be a good signing for us, and we're just going to rotate him in as well as using him in most of the first team. And the fact that he relishes big games... Chef's kiss. We are going to play a game in the Champions League against Copenhagen. I'm just going to rest a few players up here and there. As you can see, I'm just chucking them in willy-nilly. Hopefully that they don't do us too much. I don't really too fussed about the result here. It's more of just like resting players ready for that big game against Monaco next. And it's a 3-3 three, three there. Watson and Kyle George both gain on the score sheet for us. Not the best result in the world, but it's not a defeat. So we kind of take that in a way. Once again, we get another very good youth intake. With, we have goalkeepers of A's and strikers of A's. Hopefully, they can be something special. PSG do pick up a win against Bordeaux. And can we just say, Bordeaux got promoted last year. And as you can see, Bordeaux are actually eighth in the league. And that just shows you just how easy, well, I won't say the word easy, just how the league actually is. That it, it, It's not that hard to actually be where we are and beat these other teams. Bordeaux got promoted and eighth. It's not too bad. So we're going to play Monaco now and hopefully pick up a big result from them. So we're going to use our normal formation here purely because we're playing at home. So hopefully this should be enough to see us through. It's unfortunately not going to be the result that we wanted here as it is a 2-2. Now, it's not too bad of a result. Monaco are such a good side that they can compete with us and PSG. They definitely can. But I thought... We were going to be a little bit better, especially at home, and pick up a result. But nope, it wasn't meant to be. And it is on its even split as Danny Loder is still scoring goals past us. How is this possible? I don't get it. I don't get it. But a 2-2 is a, a fair enough result as McTominay as well. And Zakori again on the kind of involved in the game as Riviera gets a goal. Too easy for them. Simple as that. Not good enough. We're now four points behind PSG. That's a big gap to chase down. So the likes of PSG are actually catchable. If you go here back to when we weren't actually in the league, they drew seven games and lost five of them. Apparently when we came in the league, though, they only lost two games and then they lost like they drew one as well. So it seems like that's going to be the form that they're in because we're in the league. So they're just like overperforming right now. So there is a chance that they could throw some games away here. They've done it previously. I am by all means think that they could do it again. And we've just got to put a bit of pressure on them and make them crumble.
And time for us to play bottom of the league right now. Now, I feel like this is going to be a comfortable victory for us. And also, I am going to go attacking when we do play this one as well, because that's how confident I am. So hopefully, we can get a win here. Why has Soler already gone on holiday? How's he, how's he gone on holiday already? The rest of the team's still here. What, what's going on there? It was never in doubt, really, was it? Bottom of the league, Angers, they do get a little bit of a beat in there. We beat them 4-1, and that sees us still trying to trail PSG by four points at the halfway stage of the league. We're about to head into the winter break now, so we're going to spend our time on Christmas. Hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Calendar. Where are we right now? Who, who has put them in working Christmas Day? That's just pure evil. Have a day off, lads. It's Christmas Day. You know what? I have Boxing Day off as well. No one needs to be working Christmas Day and Boxing Day. My sister manager is pure evil. Hopefully that'll give him a little bit of a boost, but... Christmas... Yeah, okay, right. Just go rest. There you go. Have Christmas off. Christmas, pretty much done and done. I hope you had a good one. We are going to play against a team that I don't really know how to pronounce. So shall we try and rotate the squad and see if we can get through? Safe to say that PSG won quite comfortably there as well. 11-0 victory simple football for him. So what I'm going to do is next match only and we are going to rotate full rotation of the squad there and just let this one play out. And we do pick up a 3-1 victory only allowing them two shots on goal and one on actually on target. 66 time session, 22 shots. We beat them 3-1 as well. Kevin... Kyle George and also Diamone all getting on the score sheet for us. And we'll take that. It's January the 1st. And you know what that means? Transfer window is open. Sign them players. We have a lot of players that are actually being linked to move away from other clubs as well. So as I see the Aslani is actually linked with Bournemouth. We've got a couple of players as well that are linked with other teams. So maybe we see some wheeling and dealing actually happen in this January window. To try and strengthen this squad and push us on for PSG. And there we go. Oscan is in. We take that. Send him on an intensive course language. We also put Vitti in because we forgot to do that last time. He might be a little bit happy about that. And Oscan comes into the team as well. Success. So then, Joanne has actually been approached by a club in China. And I think that is Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai Port have come in for him. They want to offer us 11 million in total. I'm going to see if I can push us up to seven and a half. They got 5.5 and I'm going to accept that. It's 30 million all in. He does want to leave the club and I'll take a little bit of cash for him. I don't know what has just happened here, but for some reason we've just picked up a bunch of injuries. Now, Oya's only out for one to two days, but Lucas Perry's out for nine days. Guess and is out for three weeks. Trossard is out for eight to three weeks. And then Cosinia is out for 12 days as well. I don't know what's just happened, but we just had an influx of injuries from nowhere. It's always fun, right? So time to play in our cup game. And actually, we do play Ajacio. I hope I've pronounced that right. Ajacio. I hope we have. They kind of beat the other team. I kind of misread where he was there because they played these. They beat them 4 0. So I just saw them, but it was because their name was that long. It's actually dropped them into the other part. So unfortunately, we don't play them. We play uh, Ajacio. A JCO, and they are a League 2 side, so it's going to be another rotating side for me because I aren't really bothered about this cup, I'm not going to lie. We do get a 5-1 victory, though, so just proving that our second side can definitely compete with the likes of these, which is always a, a good sign. But we do have a big game against Real Sociedad next as well, a former league team that we used to play against in Mallorca. So hopefully we can pick up a win against them as well. But as you can see here, more injuries as we see Gift Auburn gain injured for one to two days, and then Kaki gets out for three to five months. Injuries! Right, the 11th round is in here. Who do we get? And it's going to be Dijon. We get some chicken Dijons. We will take that. Absolutely will. That's a good little draw for us. I'm not going to lie. Maybe that cup is actually on for us. Are PSG still in it? Or did they get knocked out? PSG are still in it. And they get Lille. That, that, they're beatable. That's beatable. So a game against Real Sociedad. Now, we are at home. But I'm still going to use the kind of... Lower formation defensively there. I just feel like it's more safe doing than what we can do with, with anything else there. So let's get these players out that are injured and let's see what the squad is going to look like. And that's kind of what the squad is going to look like. We've kind of gone from where we need to go. Oscan is going to come in for his debut for us. Hopefully he can have a good one. Fingers crossed for us. I'm just wishful thinking. Let's see how we get on against this. 
It's going to be a nil-nil, and considering we had a fair few players out, that's turn of formation howled out for us. So the 4-1-4-1 did what I feel like it needed to do, and that was not let them score goals. And it, what it did, we'll take a draw there. That's a tough game against Sociedad. What is it with my, what is it with my new signings and just getting an injury the very next day that they play? I know he's only got a flu, but still, he's out for two weeks. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't. Every time we sign someone, they're out for an injury then after the first game. We can't mess around, though. We do have injury problems, but it's not going to stop us as we host Strasbourg, and it is going to be a tough one. They're 14 for the lead, though, but they are on the up, so maybe it could be a tough one for us. It's going to be exactly that as we pick up a 2-0 victory against Strasbourg at home. Keeping that clean sheet yet again, which is always nice for us. I'm not going to lie there. And we're going to get that by a misplaced pass as well. As Timon intercepts, he's jerky going to get that ball. Hopefully, he can find the right pass as he just pushes straight through there. Puts a ball into the box. Let's move some back stick. Headers it in. And that is a goal for us. And then the second goal is going to come for a nice, well-worked short corner. Ball whipped in. Diamonde back stick. Goal down. 2-0. Let's go. We did get the draw for the quarterfinals of the French Cup. It's going to be Paris FC or Monaco if we do beat Dijon, which we should beat them anyway. But that's going to be a tough one against Monaco for sure. And more Champions League action as we play away from home against AC Milan in the San Siro. Now, we are probably going to drop down this formation yet again to this one like we did against Sociedad. And hopefully we can try and get a draw again, I guess. And a 3-3 is what we get. Not quite the draw I was expecting, more like a 1-1 or something, but we take a 3-3 and we would have got away with it if it wasn't for that Cancelo Ramos, you cheeky sod, in the 96th minute. I swear I don't get any luck here, but it's still a good result away from home. We'd take that if it was knockout football. I would take that all day. Now, this is what we are talking about. Monaco play host to PSG. We play against Monty Pala. Hopefully, this could go in our favor some way, somewhat. I don't know. Hopefully. And there we go. A 1-1 one, one is going to be a great result for us. It puts them five points clear and a chance for us to try and beat Monte Pella to give us a two-point gap at the top of the table. Finally, some drop points. It's... They're just too good. So what that means is we need to go and try and get a win here. And we're going to go a little bit more attacking for sure to try and get something from them. We get rid of these here. Who do we need on our team right now? I think we've got to just stick with what we've got here. Potentially bring out Kevin and put in Watson there. And that's probably going to be it to see us the win. <laughs> Right, I've told the players that they are the favourites and I expect the win. And pretty much that's what I expect. I expect the win. There's a throw-in down this left-hand side for them. is going to be moved around really well. We just tried to press there a little bit too hard. Couldn't get the ball off him as Jensen's going to bring it forward. That's a great tackle from Watson in the centre there. He's going to play the ball through. One more. He's going to shoot. Oh, no, he isn't. He's going to push into the box. He does strike and he hits the post. Oh, you are so unlucky there. What is that about? As we're going to pick up this loose ball from Diamonde back to Saw. We've still got possession. Highlight ends. A throw in again on this left-hand side as they move it round. Strikes it. And that is an unbelievable goal. End of the first half there. And since their goal from the one shot that they've had of a 0.1 XG, we've had no highlights. So we need to do something here to try and get a goal. This is another throw in. This is going to end up in uh, being a big chance for them because we just can't deal with throw-ins or anything like that. And it's a good save from Perry there. Luckily, he's back from his flu. And it's going to be a corner. Jensen is going to whip this ball in for them. We need to get this out. And it's a great save from the goalkeeper there. We do get a corner ourselves this time. Timon is probably going to play this one a little bit short there. Finds Aslani. Can he get a ball whipped in? Finds Josh Timon. Gets the ball across. Watson's there. Watson strikes it. Franco Watson, you little beaut. Come on. That's what we needed. A great goal. Come on. Right, I am a little bit concerned about my wingers not playing the best because they are tired. So Oli is going to, is going to come off us. Musa is going to come on. And Gift Orban is going to go in for Churchy. And hopefully that's going to be a bit of speed on the wings that's going to help us out to get this goal we do get another corner it's going to be josh Diamond to whip this ball in come on the dreams man let's see if we get a ball heads in ball down so so yes get in there so come on we only score from a set piece score from a set piece get in come on 80th minute and that is absolutely crazy now we do have a few tired players so as lanny is gonna get substituted off here as kevin's gonna come on as we look to end this game out 
Oh no, we're going to push here. Gift Auburn tries to pull the ball across. Oh, we give them possession. Don't know. Wait, okay, that's a great interception. Right, I'm going to pause the game here. Very realistic that you can pause the game in real life. We're going to drop down to the more defensive formation. We're going to waste time frequently, and that's the change that we're going to make. And hopefully, this isn't a highlight for them. It's just time and picks up that ball, finds Kevin in the center, finds a great ball. Once again, Rich going to strike it. Kyle George, Gift Auburn, sends it. Signed, sealed, delivered. Three points in the back of the bag. Come on! Get in there, you little beauty. Yes! Get in. Now that is what we are talking about. The substitutions linking together there and gain us a goal. Yes! Come on, and there is a three points in the bag away from home as we take a 3-1 victory against Montipala. Come on! Now, that does mean the chase is fully on with PSG now. We currently sit two points behind them. We are actually 15 points ahead of third as well, which is just broken. Just proves how tough it is to try and catch up with PSG. They're just so good. They are literally too good. In the next episode as well, we are going to have some big games again. Uh, Rennie's in there. Nice is in there as well. We do have Lille as well. So, some absolute ridiculous games to uh, try and catch up with. Also, with a Champions League knockout playoff round as well, which we just don't need at the minute. We're not good enough for Champions League. I know that. Too many draws coming in as well from my eyes there, but we still, we're on some good form and we are attacking really well. Guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. Make sure you do leave a like, hit the subscribe. It helps you out massively with the channel. It just proves that you guys are absolute legends like you always are. If you do want to see more content from me, I'm live over at Twitch. So we're at twitch.tv for more content where we are live pretty much every single weekday morning so hopefully see you there and guys once again i appreciate every single one of you i'll catch you all next time much love and bye bye